Hello guys, today we will be talking about how to compute total purchase price with interest added. So, if we had this word problem, Johnny bought a car, the car costed him $25,000. He intends to pay it back in three years at the end of the third year. Each year he is charged a 5% interest on the principal. What is the total purchase price of the vehicle with interest added? So, if he's being charged a 5% interest on the principal, this is essential. This means he's being charged simple interest. So what this means is, if he was being charged compound interest, he the first year he would be paying $25,000 times 1.05. Then in the second year, he'd be paying a 5% interest on that $25,000 times 1.05. By paying simple interest, he'll always be paying 5% interest on $25,000. So this is better for John. So anyways, let's see if we can calculate this. So in year one, at the end of year one, how much would Johnny have to pay? He'd have to pay $25,000. Plus $25,000 times by 0 0.05 plus that 5% interest. 5% interest. So in the second year, he would also have to do this, but he'd have to do plus 25. So now in year two, so in year two, he would have to pay the, it would be the same thing. It would be 25,000. So in year two, it would be 25,000. We would also add this 25,000 times like 0 0.05, but now you would add it one more time. So really, we're just doing repeated addition, which is just multiplication. So what we could also write for year two is just 25,000 plus 25,000 times 0 0.05, which is being multiplied once and then twice, so times two. So by the third year, he'll, just be, pay he'll be paying 25,000 plus 25,000 times 0 0.05. And then this happens three times now, so times three. So if I take on my calculator and calculate this, I have 25,000 plus 25,000 times 0 0.05 times three. So this would be $28,750 is the total purchase price. I hope you found this video useful and you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and goodbye.